Well, hello everybody, how are you, how are you? Yes, my name is Wayne, and you're still watching Inside Montclair. You wanna know why I'm around here? Because this young lady here is going to explain a very interesting exhibit going on. First, introduce yourself to the world. Hi, I'm Susanna Baker. I'm the Executive Director for Studio Montclair, this wonderful nonprofit arts organization located in downtown Montclair. Now, what did you say this? Bluefield uh, Avenue. Yeah, 127, <laughs> is it, I think? 127 Bluefield Avenue. Yes. Now, uh, for the last couple of years, we've had a little bit of a uh, slow down and having certain kinds of exhibits and shows. Mm -hmm. But I'm very excited to hear about this one. What's this one called and what's going on with this well, one? Well, this is Viewpoints. This is our annual show. It's um, it's our annual international open call. Um, so we get a lot of really exciting artists in this show. And it's really sad for two years. It's been mainly virtual. And this is the first year that the juror was able to come down and we were able to actually make more of an event out of it. What's the theme? Is um, it it's just a survey of contemporary artwork. I think I saw the, the title Viewpoints. Right. So, so it's, it's what those individual viewpoints. point of view from that particular artist. Right. But I saw a couple of interesting, very interesting mediums too. That, that well, I think is exciting. It's all, all different mediums, a lot of sculpture, fiber, photography, um, a lot of figurative art. I mean, a lot of beautiful work here. Um, our juror, Roger Tucker, did an amazing job selecting the work. Um, I happen to be standing in front of our, number, our first place award winner which is yearbook by Lindy Blanchard, which is an amazing piece. Are these all paintings? Paintings, yeah. Oh, wow. Well, I have a feeling that I might have an opportunity of chatting perhaps with a few other award winners after we finish our little wrap. Would you mind if I get involved with something like that? I would love that. We just happen to have a few people here. Isn't that amazing how it's, things happen? It's unbelievable. And, I will also, <laughs> and I'll also be staying around just to capture a little bit of the excitement too. So folks, Suzanne, thank you for your time and energy. Thank you, Wayne. We love you. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> folks, stay with me. Don't go away. All right, we just chatted with Suzanne. She mentioned to me that I might have an opportunity to maybe speak with one of our award winners. And I have a few, we have one right over here. What's your name? My name is Barbara Wallace. And how have you been getting involved with artwork, if I may quite, say? Quite a while. More quite than a, a couple of weeks? You, yes, you want to say yes, like I'd that? say decades, yes. So am I correct in saying that you got some kind of an award for this? Yes, I did. I received an honorable mention for the 12 Labors of Hercules. Mm. Ah, the 12, what's it made out of? It's it made out of upcycled materials, cardboard, paper, wire and then paint with acrylics and your theme for it was what hercules the 12 trials so if you look in a sort of count uh, clockwise order you'll see 12 different items on here that specifically relate to the labors of hercules but especially pertinent in our times all these challenges that we're yeah, i think we have about the same number of uh, obstacles in our way and these maybe days, more actually. which is actually one of the things that's so special about today because we have we have the chance to have some people inside for an, it next is year, so year. exciting so wonderful how do you feel about being here i'm just thrilled I'm, i want to thank susanna and studio montclair and the curator and the manager and everyone involved and people coming out and you thank you well may the rest of you life not have as many obstacles or troubles okay thank you very nice to meet same you same to you folks stay with me we got more to meet stay with me all right folks i'm uh, continuing my interviews with a few people that won awards and this struck my eye and this gentleman over here i think has a lot to do with it first of all introduce yourself please uh, my name is will swank and what are winning on this particular item, huh? So this is uh, work that I uh, put together a few years ago, 2019. Uh, it's out of Brave New World. It's called Brave New World. What's the format? What's the medium here? So this, get a little bit closer to me. It's um, acrylic with um, shallow or hollow relief. So now, is this something that's laid on top of what you're doing? So this is done on wood. So created, this is done on wood? Yeah, created wood panel. This is all carved out. Oh, wow. Stained. Stain, so. Is this uh, something, a medium that you've been working with most of the time? Or is it's this an evolution of, I've always worked on wood and uh, doing the carving and staining just kind of came about as um, something that worked really well. So This uh, looks fantastic. It's, it's a good uh, starting point for flesh because it is flesh itself. And um, What do you mean by that? Because it's made out of wood? Yeah. Like wood is a cork can beam, I think is actually what's on the tree. Yeah, so I mean flesh of the tree. That, that's yeah, exactly, right. yeah. How do you like people seeing your work? I love it. How do you feel about being part of the Studio Montclair exhibit? It's uh, been fantastic so far. Uh, I'm honored. Is this one of your first times you're showing? No, I've showed. You've this been the first here? time I've showed this. First time you're showing this Yes, yes, yes. Wow. How do you feel having people look at your work? How does that make you feel? It's uh, pretty special. 
I yeah, think. It's, it's good. It's, um, it's a little intimate and revealing and uh, can be stressful, but typically it's a good experience. That's what life like, sounds like, actually. Right. A, little bit of this, a little bit of that, right? Otherwise, <laughs> I find other hobbies. Well, thank you very much for chatting with me, and uh, we'll continue success, and good luck with the show, too. Thank you so much. All right, folks, keep on going. I have a few more people to chat with. Don't go away. Uh, we've been uh, conducting a few interviews with uh, some of our award winners, and this is our third or second. Hi, how you doing? Hi, how are you? Introduce yourself. Tell everybody who you are, please. Uh, I am Trisha, uh, Trisha Patsy. Okay. This is my painting. What's the medium here? What am I looking at? Nice and loud. This is acrylic on a linen canvas. Is there a particular concept or feeling about what you have there? Like, what am I looking at? Is that a particular face? Well, it's a face, I know. Is there a story behind there, maybe? Yeah, um, it's actually more, um, I guess, about experimentation. So I wanted, I like working on portraits and specifically kind of trying to make them with like abstraction and a little bit of like an unfinished quality to them as well. I like the idea that you, it seems to be finished, but then you have more strokes that sort of like go over it. Yeah. Uh, some of them were done before the face, and then some of them were done after, so I kind of wanted oh, it to feel okay. cohesive that way. How do you feel about being involved with uh, Studio Montclair, the show here today? Oh, I'm very excited. This is my first... Uh, is your first showing of sorts, or first, first showing here? My first showing here, but they will start it this year, so I'm very excited. For how, do you, how do you feel with people looking at your work now? That's um, got to be a little special, huh? Yeah, it, it feels nice, it's, um, I guess, because I've been painting for like about two years now. Oh. Um, and, you know, I post almost all of my paintings on Instagram, so people see them that way, but it's something so different. I like to think at least that most of them have, um, most of them look nicer in person or have quality. Oh, it always looks nicer. Yeah, you get a that, depth, perception of depth and you get a true sense of, of the color, which I think is yeah, very special. Exactly. Good luck, congratulations, Thank enjoy Thank the you. show, and good luck in the future, Thank okay? You. All right, folks, stay with me, don't go away, more to come. All right, folks, you see me getting involved with talking to a few different people, some of the artists here, but sometimes you kind of wonder about how that work actually showed up here, and I have a feeling the person is standing right in front of me might have something to do with it. A little introduction, tell everybody who you be, please. Hi, I'm Patty Jordan, and I'm the chair of the exhibition for Viewpoints 2022. Now, that sounds like a good title. What does that mean? Well, basically, it's um, to try to get perspectives from artists, not only locally and uh, regionally, but also nationally and internationally. And this show includes artists from the local to the international spectrum, which is really important for us as wanting to reach a diversity group of artists. How about getting it down to the point of the numbers that we have here? That was, Did you help out with that a little bit? A little bit, but I must thank Ani Struther, who is a curator in the local region, specifically in the area of Newark, and he was the first person we contacted looking for a juror. He recommended Roger Tucker, who also has a very strong experience and um, history of pulling together artists and supporting artists in the Newark and the regional area. That, so, that had to be like a very challenging job to try to limit it down to the ones that we have here. We did actually. We had a list of about eight and um, Roger responded right away and he had a vision already from viewpoints from having uh, had a discussion with us about it. And he also seemed really uh, appropriate because Roger is able to discern work that's fabulous from not just a 2D perspective but also deals with the third dimension from traditional work to also non-traditional work, breaking out of the usual boundaries of craft. And I think that's what's so special about art. There's so many variables that sometimes when they all come together in one exhibit, it's just very exciting. And that's what I'm finding out today. Thank you so much. We felt that way too, Wayne, that the show has a diversity that we haven't ever seen before. We've um, basically tried to achieve that or reach for that, but this show really went over the top. <laughs> well, I like things that go over the top. And thank you for chatting with me for a while. You did very, very well. Thank you, Wayne. <laughs> okay, you stay right there, folks. I'm going to be hanging out, taking some pictures, and don't forget, we'll let you know at the end of my little dialogue here how long it's running and where you can go. So everybody stay with me. Don't go away.